Hey guys, so the Yankees are in on a starting pitcher, and you're probably saying, Joe, obviously they're in on a starting pitcher. We need pitching. The starting rotation has been so inconsistent. Of course we're in on a starting pitcher. Well, guys, I'm going to let you in on who that starting pitcher is. And it's not Luis Castillo. It's not Frankie Montas. It's a brand new target. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoy the video and you love Yankee content, Please do me a favor. If you're not already, please subscribe. We just hit 4,000 subscribers. I just want to say thank you for that. It's 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 a, a great milestone for the channel. And it just it means the world that if you are subbed, thank you. Thank you for the support. It means a lot. On the road to 5K, baby. Let's get it. So, Yankees are interested in a starting pitcher. And that starting pitcher goes by the name of Jose Quintana. Quintana currently pitches for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's having an okay year. He's a lefty, a 370 RA. He looks and he's, he's pitching for Pittsburgh, so whatever. But Quintana would be a nice piece for the Yankees to add. Just add a bit depth, eat, 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 eat some innings for that Yankee starting rotation. Listen, Nestor Cortez is a career high of 93 innings. Severino, he hasn't pitched, uh, I believe, 150 innings since 2018 so we're gonna need a couple of guys not just Quintana but a couple of guys that could go in there and give this rotation just some rest and we need that added depth and Quintana would be that depth piece now I know you're probably saying Joe but I want Castillo I want Montas listen I do too and we sure as heck could use one of them but I like that the Yankees are exploring other options, and Quintana would not be a bad piece to add to this team. He would not. The White Sox are also in on Quintana, so there could be a reunion there. Quintana actually spent part of his career with the Yankees, just not in the major leagues. He spent three years in the minor leagues. Then he became a minor league free agent, and the rest is history. He's had a decent major league career, spent the majority of it with the White Sox, then with the Cubs. I believe he had a stint with the Angels, now the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the San Francisco Giants he had a stint with last year. So Quintana, I, I would like him personally. Like I said, it's just it's it's a piece that we can add that could give this rotation some rest. Now... I want to talk about something else. We're going to go off topic. Just really quick, guys. I want to talk Joey Gallo. I want to talk Aaron Boone. Last night, you take out Isaiah kiner Falefa, who I believe had two hits in that game against the Mets. You take him out. You put in Joey Gallo. Isaiah kiner Falefa is actually on a hitting streak. He's one of your hotter hitters when you're uh, in this lineup right now. And you take him out, and you put Joey Gallo up there. This is why Joey Gallo can't be on the roster, because Aaron Boone is too damn tempted to use him. Last night was a great example of that. Don't tell me, oh, Yankees don't care about rivalries. Oh, we're 12 games up, 11 games up. I, I don't want to hear any of that. If we're in the playoffs, and Joey Gallo is somehow on that playoff roster, and we're in the playoffs. Aaron Boone is going to be tempted to use him in a high leverage situation like he did last night. And he struck out. He struck out. That's been his story all year. And you took, you took out a hitter who's been on a streak. He's on, on a hitting streak. And he took him out for, for, for Joey Gallo. Moves like that. You can't blame Gallo, but you could blame the manager. And it's boneheaded moves like that when you get into the postseason that are going to cost you. So please, get Gallo off this freaking team so Boone is not tempted to use him down the stretch in a high leverage spot like he did last night. Please. Do not allow Aaron Boone access to Gallo because he will use them and we will lose. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you think. Like I said, if, you're, if you've been subscribed to this channel for a bit or you're brand new, thank you so much for being a part of the 4,000. It means the world to me. We are on the road to 5,000 now. So for whatever reason, you're this far into the video and you're not subscribed, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get 5,000. So guys, thank you so much for watching. 
This is Joan. Until next time, signing out.